Hello YouTube, we are back. This is part two of the previous video. Uh, sorry that we had to cancel that out uh, or stop it, but we were running low on time. We're going to try and finish this level, level now. We might have to split into a third part. Some of these levels are really long. I know because as you see from my saves, I have two other saves that I play besides this one. I really want to keep a guys uh, ready to go. So we're going to actually go up here to Vanessa and bring her Garcia here. And we're going to have a... Uh, we're going to put her... We're going to drop him right in front of Mulder. Then we're going to have Mulder healing. Gotta give Mulder some staff experience. Like all the other classes, Mulder can change class. Now we're actually talk to Garcia with Ross. Dad! Ross boy, what did I tell you? What are you doing here? Don't worry about me. Hur Don't worry about me. Hurry up and get yourself to safety. Did you really think I could just run away and file you fight, Dad? You taught me that fighters fight but for what's important to them. There's no way I'm leaving. I'm fighting just like you. Ross! Alright, listen to me. We'll cut our way out of here together. And there you go. We now have Garcia. But our next goal is to hit this village here. And we're actually going to bring uh, Mr. I'm a Knight Garcia and Gilliam down here. We'll put on a slim lance. Um, I'm actually going to uh, get the armory with Garcia. And I want to buy an iron axe for him. A couple of them. Because Eric is in the woods there, she actually take, they have a harder chance of hitting her, which is why I put her there. So we're actually going to go up here to Mulder and see if we can get him down here to Erica. We do want to heal her up. Um, we're also going to talk to Ross, bring him here. We're going to trade with Ross. Or we'll give him an iron axe because all he has right now is the hatchets. Then we're going to move Garcia over here and have him attack that bandit on their side of uh, Erica. His attack myth. Hand axes are ranged weapons. But now we can move Franz into the forest and attack with a sword which will have a better chance of hitting this guy. It's only 66. But, um. Yeah, it's a um, more likely no hit. Right now, I want to put a uh, Gillian in the fortress here, or the fort. I want to move Vanessa to this woods. I want to go to Seth and visit this village. Hmm, what is it? What's all the ruckus? What bandit? Spread the word, everyone. Close the village gates. Thank you for your warning. Please accept this small token. And he actually gives us a pure water. A pure water is very useful as it helps to uh, prevent eating from a uh, resistance to magic. We're now going to attack this band again with Erica and kill it. Now it's the enemy phase and there's only two enemies left. Looks like this will be game for them all. Wait a minute. Who are you? Uh, I'm your worst nightmare. Now, the reason why I put Garcia in that fort is because I knew that he would be weak to swords. But uh, So I knew he might take damage. And as you can see, he just healed. That happens when you have a fort. A unit on a fort because uh, they gain a little bit of health back each turn. Alright, so let's try and finish this up now. Moving Mulder to heal Erica.
We're gonna have Garcia getting this uh, boss guy's face with an iron axe. He did some damage. What are you doing, spiders? We're actually going to have Gillian attack in a second. But first, we want to have Ross attack. That'll get him some experience. That's not much. Okay, it looks like we might have to use an extra turn. I hope not. But for now, we're going to have Seth attack this boss guy and finish him off. And that should actually draw the other guy to attack him next turn. Now that the end of the scenario. Urgh, blast! Either way, uh, that takes care of him. And we're actually going to, um, end our turn. I believe Seth will finish this guy off. And end the game. Yep. That will be it for this map. You saved my son. I owe you my thanks. It's not necessary. Hold on a moment. I'm sorry. Hold on a moment. Aren't you the great Garcia? You fought for Reneus, didn't you? Seth, do you know this man? He was a troop commander for Reneus until around 10 years ago. When I was a recruit, the soldiers used to tell so many tales about him. They called him a daring and fearless fighter for Reneus. Master Garcia, we must know the peril our homeland faces right now. Can we impose upon you to lend you your strength to Reneus once again? I'm sorry. I'm retired now. Not a problem here anymore. It's a decision I made long ago. Master Garcia, when I was a soldier, I never li I lived my life fighting for my country's honor. I left no time for my family. I spent my life fighting for faceless, uncaring nobles. When my wife fell ill and died, I met the child she had left behind. At that moment, I finally realized what my duty had cost me. I stood at my wife's grave and promised her I would be a father to our son. I'm done with armies, I'm done with fighting, except to protect my son. I have no regrets, I'm the boy's father. Now that's a real dad. You, you blasted fool! Father, what's all this? Nonsense, I'm hearing. Ross! If you're not going, then I will. I'm a fighter. I know I could do this. Ross, what are you saying? I... Dad, please listen to me. I respect you more than any other man in the world. I know you gave up being a soldier for me. I know that. But how can you throw away such a big part of yourself? You're a warrior at heart. You can't give that up, and I'd be happy. Look at me, Dad. Have you seen me fight? I'm not a child anymore. I'm a warrior like you. You're free to worry, but I can survive on my own. Ross, you want to challenge me, Father? I'm a fighter, the best in all of Eid. I'm not going to lose to you. I'm not going to lose to anyone. You're right. You're a good soldier, Ross. So, Seth... If these old bones of mine can still serve, I'd like to join you. Dad! Looks like my boy grew up while I wasn't looking. He's tougher than I thought. He doesn't need my help. I raised him as best I could, but he's right. I have nothing to fear. I should fight. I will fight. Dad! Thank you so much for your help. Please stay the night and rest. We would if we could, but we have much to do and far to travel. Your safety is reward enough. Ah, uh, well. My, that is a splendid bracelet you're wearing. Thank you, my father gave this to me. It's a wonderful gift. But you should be careful wearing such a valuable item so openly. Since Reneus was invaded, things have become so dangerous around here. There are gold-hungry thieves and bandits everywhere. 
The most wicked are Bob's Buzz Bandits. They are cruel beyond words. You have something they want. Your wife, life is worth less than nothing. Just the other day, they assaulted some travelers, and oh, it was awful. I, I can't believe such things. Oh, Renee's is finished. Mock my words. The great old empire has stolen our future. Our only hope against him that was that Prince Ivan will prevail. The rumor has it that he's on the verge of being crushed by Greta's vast numbers. These are dark days. Travel with ease. Or care. Time to start. Are you ready, Erica? Yes, Ephraim. Let's begin. Tell me, though, why do you want me to teach you to fight? I thought you didn't care for violence. I do not like uncivilized behavior. I think one can solve one's problems without fighting. And yet, and yet what? I've always relied on you to protect me, brother. I would rather not be such a burden to you in the future. So maybe I thought maybe I should learn to protect myself. I'm your brother. Brothers are supposed to protect their sisters. It's nothing for you to worry about. It's no cause for concern. Yes, but I am your sister. Sisters are supposed to worry about their brothers. So I would like to learn something of swordplay, if only a little. Maybe someday I can protect you in your time of need. So please, Ephraim. All right, all right. How could I say no? Also, once you get an idea in your head, that's it. I might as well give in. <laughs> it's agreed. I'll teach you, but won't hold back because you're my sister. And I want no complaining once we started, Erica. Complaining? Me? Never. Oops, beg your pardon. Hey. Princess, are you alright? Yes, yeah, someone bumped me and bumped into me, and I was jarred. Mm hmm. Your Highness, where is your bracelet? My bracelet? It's gone! Where could it be? Did that man. I'll find him! Don't worry about it, Seth. It was good for my father, but Ephraim needs our help. I can't let sentimentality get in the way of my duty. No, Princess, we must retrieve your bracelet regardless of cost. You cannot lose it. Let's go. We must hurry. I, I honestly wonder why. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!